Hello, my name is Rick. Today we're going to go through mounting an analyzer onto a handrail using our standard AM1 analyzer mounting kit. The analyzer mounting kit can basically be thought of as consisting of two halves. First you have the half that mounts the plates to the analyzer. That consists of the plates themselves, four machine screws, four flat washers, four lock washers, and four nuts. Now these hold, this is the part that holds the plate to the analyzer. Then you have the part that holds the plates to the handrail. That's two U-bolts, four lock washers, four flat washers, and four nuts. Before you get started actually mounting the analyzer to the uh, handrail and the plates, you probably want to gather a couple of common tools. What you're going to need is a 7 16 nut driver, a 3 8 nut driver, a Phillips screwdriver, and if you have one available, it actually makes it very handy if, with an electric screwdriver with a Phillips head bit on it. The first step in installing the analyzer on the handrail is to install the plates on the analyzer itself. To do that, you open the analyzer up. There's four screws captivated in the corners. You loosen those up. open the unit up and identify the four larger holes inside the cover. Here, 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 and here. Once you've got the unit open like this, you want to turn it some, take the two machine screws and put in those openings we locate it. Kind of shake them down to where the screws come out the bottom like this. Set it on its side like this show it like this. Using the screwdriver to hold the screw in. There we go. Put the plate on there. On the other side you can just set on the other screw. And put a flat washer, a lock washer, and then a nut. And you can use the 3 8 nut driver and the screwdriver and just firm them up, snug them up, I'm sorry. And uh, then we'll just take and turn and do the same thing to the other side. Now that we've got the plates on, we're ready to mount it to the handrail itself. Basically, you just take the unit, set it on top of the handrail like this, and just run your U-bolt up through the holes. And then again, it's that mantra of the flat washer, lock washer, and nuts. You can actually snug this down a little bit to hold it a little bit for you. It makes it a little bit easier to get the other side on. Once you get it a little bit snug like that, it'll hold and then you just go do the same exact thing for the other side. And while the unit's snug but still able to move it, you position it how you want it to be mounted or oriented once it's on the handrail. And generally something about like this is good for uh, viewing reasons. At that point you would just come in, tighten it down. And again, like everything else with our mounting, you don't want to over tighten it. It just needs to be tight enough to where it doesn't move. Uh, one thing to mention here, all of our displays come with a protective coating over the actual window itself. 
you need to remove this with this little film that comes up you just remove that and take it off otherwise it'll get baked on in the sun and it gets very cloudy makes it hard to read the display so you just want to pull that off just a little protective covering now our analyzer is mounted to the handrail um, we're ready to start wiring it up inside the unit here your sensor connections are over on the far left side here your AC input is here on the far right side bottom and along the middle on the bottom is your outputs power switch is right here flip it up to turn power on once you get it all connected and uh, you're ready to go